How does a fiber optic cable transmit data using light signals? Fiber optic cables are used to transmit data over long distances at high speeds using light signals. They consist of a core, cladding, and a protective outer layer. The core is the innermost part of the cable and is typically made of silica glass or plastic. It serves as the medium through which light signals travel. The cladding surrounds the core and has a lower refractive index than the core. This difference in refractive index ensures that light signals stay within the core by reflecting off the cladding, a phenomenon known as total internal reflection. The transmission of data through a fiber optic cable involves the use of two main types of light signals, continuous wave, CW, and pulsed light. Continuous wave, CW, transmission is used for analog signals, such as those used in cable television or telephone systems. In this method, a laser diode or LED light-emitting diode emits a continuous stream of light into one end of the fiber optic cable. The light travels through the core of the cable, reflecting off the cladding, until it reaches the other end. At the receiving end, a photodiode converts the light signal back into an electrical signal that can be understood by the receiving device. Pulsed light transmission is used for digital signals, such as those used in internet communications. In this method, the light source rapidly turns on and off to represent binary data, zeros and ones. The light pulses travel through the fiber optic cable in the same manner as CW transmission. At the receiving end, a photodetector detects the light pulses and converts them back into electrical signals. These electrical signals are then processed by the receiving device. To ensure efficient transmission of light signals, fiber optic cables are designed to minimize signal loss and distortion. One factor that affects signal loss is attenuation, which occurs when the light signal weakens as it travels through the cable. This can be minimized by using high-quality materials and carefully designing the cable's structure. Additionally, fiber optic cables are often designed with multiple cores, allowing for the transmission of multiple signals simultaneously. This is achieved through a technique called wavelength division multiplexing, WDM, where different light signals of varying wavelengths are sent through the different cores of the cable. In summary, fiber optic cables transmit data using light signals through a core cladding structure. The light signals can be continuous wave or pulsed, depending on the type of data being transmitted. By leveraging total internal reflection and minimizing signal loss, fiber optic cables enable fast and reliable data transmission over long distances. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.